News at four. More than a million acres are now burning across the state of Oregon, putting a severe strain on firefighting efforts. And we thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Matt Templeman. Tonight, di opinions differ on how to reduce fires and firefighting spending in the future. KZI 9 News reporter Julio Mora Rodriguez spoke with wildfire experts who say there are better ways to fight and prevent wildfires. Firefighters over the last couple of years have really been tested by Oregon's wildfires. It's why wildfire experts believe new strategies need to be considered. The reason why wildfire is picking up so much is number one, climate change. Uh, number two, built a lot of our cities or towns into areas that are, are very prone to wildfire. And then number three is uh, we have a tremendous excess fuels on the landscape. In 2019, Matt Donegan served as the chair of Oregon's Wildfire Council. He and other experts were brought together to identify why Oregon's wildfires were becoming more intense. The council recommended 37 changes Oregon needed to do in order to bring its wildfire fighting capabilities up to date. The council stuck to three basic principles, how to protect firefighters, how to protect residents from the increasing threat, and how to better manage the land. One of the top recommendations was prescribed burnings, meaning intentionally setting fire to landscapes in a controlled manner. We identified 5.6 million acres in Oregon that was at very high fire risk that uh, needed um, fuel management. Another important recommendation was mechanical thinning of Oregon's forest. This means using heavy equipment to take down excess trees, thus eliminating wildfire fuels. The issue is much of Oregon's land that has been set aside for conservation has not been properly managed. Our, uh, our landscapes are highly departed from what they were 200 years ago and they're highly departed from where they need to be uh, in an era of, cl of climate change. Coming up in the 5 o'clock newscast, I dive into the obstacles that have kept these new recommendations from being implemented. Reporting in Springfield, Julio Mara Rodriguez, KEZI 9 News.